Meanwhile, there are growing efforts by the city to find out what types of gatherings are adding to our COVID-19 numbers. Reporter Raven Richard tells us how the city is planning to take action. Contact tracing shows bars and nightclubs and small gatherings of family and friends still lead the list in Cincinnati for ways COVID-19 is spread. And so like everybody else, uh, we are ramping up contact tracing capacity as quickly as we can. Mayor John Cranley says Monday an additional 31 contact tracers will join the team to replace school nurses who helped out during their summer breaks. This will bring the total number of tracers in Cincinnati to 59. Currently, there are 43. Cincinnati Health Department epidemiologist Dr. Maurice Amin explains the need for more. ODH guides us by um, suggesting uh, per 100,000 that you have 10 to 15 contact tracers. Um, so for the city of Cincinnati, estimating at 300,000, we would be um, between 30 and 45. So um, we are above that mark um, just so that we're prepared uh, when schools reopen and um, activities increase that we have sufficient staff to do the contact tracing. A potential problem, people not remembering where they've been in the last two weeks or who they've come in contact with. If people can keep a diary, who they've been close to, where they've been, that would be a tremendous help. And we know it's not been perfect, but we are working every day to make it better and faster uh, to make it effective. Once a contact tracer finds out a person is positive, that tracer will contact people to determine who they think is at risk, and that also helps to show potential areas of upticks. In Cincinnati, Raven Richard, WCPO 9 News.